My name is Jonathan Kruger. I'm, I'm Zambian. I was born in Luantia, grew up, but I spent most of my life in Kitui. Uh, I, I did spend seven years in Japan, so we don't count those, but most of my life I've been here in Kitui. My family came to Zambia in 1898. So you calculate, that's 122 years ago. Okay, you can see. That's my legacy here in, 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 in Africa. Okay, in that, was, that was President Paul Kruger, who was my great-great-grandfather. And he was the president of South Africa. Unfortunately, <laughs> you can see that also the Germans used him because my ancestors come from Germany. They came to Africa in 1713. So because of his ancestry is German, also Hitler, used him as propaganda, as you can see there, encouraging the people to, the German people to follow him and join the Waffen SS. <laughs> now, what is interesting, so we got him. Now, my family, my, my father's uncles were born in Livingston. Actually, my grandfather was the first white man to be born uh, in, in, in this part of the world in 1898. And he had uh, some brothers, and those brothers, my actually, let me let me tell you, my grandfather fought in the First World War with the Northern Rhodesia Police against the Germans. Okay, he was a volunteer. My uncle, my father's uncles, they fought in the Second World War. One was uh, he was killed over Germany uh, in a, in a Lancaster bomber. Another. Uh, uncle that was born in Livingston, he fought in, uh, in Italy. He was wounded by a German sniper at uh, Monte Cassino. And the third one, he also served in North Africa fighting uh, Rommel. He served with... So all these gentlemen, you know, you can see my background. We, 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 we're part of this and we're part and parcel of these men. I actually first saw these men getting out at a bus station at, uh, you know, uh, the KMB. And, you know, they're dressed like this, you know, and this is like on the 11th of November. So you can, you can imagine my curiosity as a little boy. I was seven years old. I wanted to know. Well, by the look of it, I could tell that these weren't the modern day uniforms. And the way they looked and the way they spoke and the way they even walked. These were men of caliber. And I felt, and I, and I started talking to them. And they, these are the gentlemen that actually told me that they had served in East Africa, Abyssinia fighting the Italians. Uh, and the Italians were actually trying to come down and take over as far as go down to Kenya. So the Zambian soldiers were sent up there to, to fight the Italians. Then these gentlemen also fought in Madagascar. Now we all know in, in Madagascar that was the part of the Vichy French and they were on the side of the Japanese and the Japanese were using the island. So they had to fight in Madagascar. And eventually you can see that these men ended up in Burma. Some of these gentlemen served in the Northern Rhodesia Regiment for 20 years and actually went up as far as serving in Malaysia, in the Malaysian emergency, fighting the Chinese communists. So we have, a, we have some true war heroes. Sadly, most of them have passed away. And I always pushed for these gentlemen to try to be recognized. Mm -hmm. After they died, I felt it wasn't right that their stories should die with them. And some people, uh, most of the people in Zambia didn't even know who these guys were, these men because they're very humble and they don't talk unless you ask them. So I felt one of the reasons of opening the museum was to tell their story, to keep their story alive for future generations. I want Zambian people to be proud of their history, to be proud of their grandparents, but nobody talks about them. If you look at the, the conditions these gentlemen had to go through in Burma, it was, Horrific. I mean horrific. 
They had to do things that no Europeans or Indians wanted to do. These men were sent into the Cabal Valley. So if you think of these men today, let us honor them. And this is the reason why I felt that I needed to open the museum. No doubt that these people laid the foundation for us to have a better world we live in yes. today. And that's why we have a beautiful country called Zambia today because of these men. When I first met these men, I started uh, thinking about, now how am I going to do this? And what better person to speak to was my late father. My late father served in uh, Takagan barracks from 1954 to 1965. And he gave me advice and he said, listen, let's, you know, he had a few things which I'll show you. But the, most of the stuff I've managed to collect is from these men themselves. And a lot of it was also people who had their grandfathers had served in the, in the wars. And they felt a lot of the stuff is actually coming back to Zambia. A lot of people are telling me that, you know, their grandparents fought all over the world with the Africans and they feel that these things that their grandparents had should come back to Africa, where they came from. They don't want them to keep them in the houses in England anymore because nobody sees it. But if somebody like me can give this to show this to the next generation of Zambian people and the young people, they feel this is where it should belong, back in Africa, back in Zambia. I think these men molded me to who I am today. Remember, uh, you, you look at war heroes in, in, in England and America, they have beautiful, uh, beautiful memorials to them. Sadly, we don't have those in Zambia and the young people have zero knowledge. And uh, I think these men should be talked about as the real heroes of Zambia. Mm -hmm. These are the real, these are not fake. They gave their lives, not just for, for freedom of Zambia. These also, these men fought for Zambia's independence after they came back. These men had seen other cultures. They had, the minds had opened. Most of these men had traveled more than any European of that time. These people had traveled all over the world and they, to me are the people that our young people should look to and say, now those are our role models, those are our heroes. My wish is I'd love to have a proper museum put up and uh, <laughs> a building where I want young people to come and learn about our rich history a rich history of who we are in Zambia. Mm -hmm. You know, if we don't know our roots, how do we know where we're going? Yes. If we don't know where we came from. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, young people today are learning from this. It has its good points, but it also has its bad points. But I feel mm -hmm. it's my heart's desire. I want and I'd love to have an official museum for the military, for the mm -hmm. Zambia police, mm -hmm. uh, even the national service, mm -hmm. where young people can see real men and role models and their life stories told on the walls. Mm -hmm. This is my heart's desire. Mm 